Hey guys, it's the Business Gamer here. Welcome to another podcast. This is episode four, I think. One, two, three. Yes, episode four. Uh, I'm also in the car today, but hopefully this is a superior quality. I'm going to, I think, use my phone to record it. I think last time I was literally trying to use my car microphone and wow that's that's pretty bad you, you've tried talking to people over the phone in the car and it's it's a bit <laughs> it's terrible okay so what's been happening lately with gaming and everything well good news today bad news today uh bad news i went to look at my you know isp or my internet provider and see what's up. I had a bill coming up or something. And well, Paige just said, oh, hello, uh, we've gone into voluntary administration and <laughs> we're no longer a company, basically. <laughs> so I was like, how the fuck am I going to use internet if uh, I don't have a company supplying me the internet? So, yeah, long story short, I you know, had my eye on a deal for another ISP internet provider and jump straight on that. And wow, they, they were pretty great. Um, might even put a refer link in the in the podcast because Aussie Broadband, well done. <laughs> I was connected within like an hour and <laughs> no hassle, just had to like go in and like flick it on basically, change my cable to the other one. Jeez, good stuff. Yeah, so... Um, and I tested out the internet, and man, I'm flying again. Back to where I want to be. My ping's lower, my download speed, upload speeds are higher. You know, that's what you want. <laughs> thank you, NBN, and thank you, Australian government. Yeah. Yeah, so hopefully I can use that to do some cool stuff. Maybe um, do a stream or something with some, maybe a high-quality stream if you want to check it out at I think I could, the highest I can go personally is 1440p and I run my games at. <clears throat> so, talking about high quality games, I've checked out uh, Shadow of... No. It's either called Shadow of the Tomb Raider or Tomb Raider Reboot Game 3 or some shit. <laughs> it's pretty good. And man, those graphics, those textures... Oh, just go wild. You, just, you could just look at the jungle or the fucking... Oh, the, the dirt and mud and shit over Lara. Like, it's it's good. Sure, my computer doesn't run it um, that well. I'm only getting about 40 FPS, but those 40 frames, they all look delicious. Like, oh my God. Walking through the garden or trees and they're just moving everywhere you got fucking chimpanzees up in the tree that you can kill like i haven't played it very much i only about an hour or two but it's got a pretty strong start i'm i'm pretty invested already back into the story you know lara's hunt, hunting tombs and trying to take down trinity get to the tomb before the evil corporation get the thing and oh what's this uh turning cliches on their head here or there it's, it's good I'm not playing it just for the story mainly playing for the, the climbing and the you know fun little feel like you're you're exploring and you're finding little notes and like that's probably the best part of it so far like you you know you go off the track a little bit you find a little note or a piece of, piece of cloth or something and it comes up as a photograph and it's just you know voiceover reading the text which is always good in these type of games because you know usually you go in your codex or whatever it is and you have to read it yourself and you know, to be honest I kind of just whatever click delete or close close it down uh, you, you can't listen to them during the game like in some you know have your audio logs and shit like that uh, but that's probably good because you'd probably get you know, because the audio soundscape in this game is pretty good, so I'll probably interfere with that. Um, so yeah, I do just like listening to a paragraph or two of her reading something. You can move the photograph around a bit if you want to have a look for more clues. 
Yeah, that's probably the best part of the game. <laughs> and the it, everything you do feels like basically it's a light Metroidvania game. Like some areas you go past, uh, you may need certain equipment or upgrades to get to by the looks. So at the moment I can't get to the first challenge tomb because I don't have my my rope or winch or something which is fair enough you know I'll I'll be really satisfied when I get that and go to the challenge tomb and I can get in there and sort it out yeah so that's shadow of the tomb raider now I'm pretty certain that's what it's called yeah shadow of the tomb raider because I think it was tomb raider rise of the tomb raider and then dawn of the planet of the tomb raider yeah that sounds right uh, I've had a look at Assassin's Creed uh, Greek or Odyssey or whatever it's called. Assassin's Creed Mario, I think. Uh, that seems pretty cool. Graphics, same kind of thing. Look pretty big, wide open world. But those games don't really hook me as much because it just turns into a bit of a fetch quest thing. and I don't have time or care enough about the the map or whatever going around and doing. That's why I like Tomb Raider. It's a lot more linear and uh, I like a bit of direction. It's always good. <laughs> so like it's it probably end up being like a 20 hour game and the whole 20 hours feels really really good but if I play 60 hours of Assassin's Creed I know I'm only going to be happy for about 5 of those hours and the rest will just be fucking chasing pigeons and god knows what oh but boy i've 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 missed out on the big ones i haven't got them yet i'm thinking about it spider-man on ps4 and red dead redemption 2 on xbox or ps4 like i think i'm gonna pick up spider-man there's black friday sales in oz ozland as well so maybe i'll get that but I don't think I'll get Red Dead for a while, unless it's like 50 bucks or half price. And I'd rather play it on PC, so there's that. I've been playing a bit of Battlefield 5. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm a bit of a Battlefield fan, so it's annoying when you unlock a new gun and the scope doesn't fucking work at all and you, you end up dying a fair few fucking times because every time you try and load your other scope that doesn't work either and then there goes your you know it's a shit round and that happens and there's been some other bugs too like just sometimes the lens flare just turns on like massively and all you can see is fucking sunlight that's annoying <laughs> and when you can't revive in a server for some reason but we'll see got this new internet so might be pretty good now with, with still those issues that dice and EA or whatever hopefully fix um, I've technically just dipped my toe in the water with Battlefield because I've only paid $20 for the month of Origin Access Premiere scam nah it looks pretty good value but still got to figure out if I want to buy that or not don't really want to pay 70 more dollars for it or whatever it is thanks for tuning in